Um, okay. Was there any other discussion or anything else that we think we need to immediately do on on this item? There is public comment that came in yesterday on this item. Before we get to the public comment, are there any other things that we think we immediately need to do um, on this? And what, okay, are anything else? Okay, what do you what do you mean? Public comments have come in via. Okay, are they emails? Did they get distributed to us? What do What do you mean when you say that? So on our agenda, that's posted ten days before public comment will be limited to three minutes for each speaker, unless otherwise determined by the commission. Please email any public comments to NAC by four p.m. on Thursday, um, May fourth, to be read into the record. So. Um, these were received yesterday, public comment on this particular issue. So as our practice in the past, if anybody emailed their, their public comments in for any specific agenda item or the public comment at the end of the meeting, they're allowed to be read into the record as long as it doesn't exceed three minutes. I don't know about the read into the record thing. Again, I'm not, I think we did this a, 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 a one or once or twice because it warranted it because of the situation, but this has not been a general practice of the commission to read into the record public comments that come through. They come through, you send them to us, we read them, we have them. Those are the public comments. Then maybe next time for the agenda, we should maybe refrain from putting that language in there because I think it may be misleading to the public. Does the, but does the agenda say we're gonna read these things? Yeah. be read into the record yes it does i don't know where that came from but we it's need been to take on the it out well i am just here. saying i don't know where it came from we need to remove that because this is not a practice that we should be engaging in we can work on that for the next agenda chairperson thank you uh the, the go ahead comment. and read them because we need to do it because that's what was noticed how many are we talking about what is the length of time what, what are we dealing with here? I, I just have one in my hand here, and okay. I believe it's limited to three minutes per the agenda. Okay, we'll read for three minutes, and when the three minutes goes off, then we're going to cut you off. Here we go. Feel free. All right. Public comments from the Gabrielano Band of Mission Indians, Quiche Nation. Dear Chairwoman Miranda and Commissioners, below is an update and bullet point summary of the terms that the three co-MLDs have agreed upon for the corona matter. The co-MLDs bullet point summary and update on the corona matter. The three co-MLDs met in person on February 27, 2023, and have had subsequent group discussions, which included a review of the additional information recently provided by the city to assess the potential for developing a reburial plan prior to the city determining its future plans for the project site. Number one, with respect to the city proposed avoidance area, the co-MLDs received the graphic and calculated volumes for the open trenches and soil piles, which were provided by the city on April 6, 2023. Number two, the co-MLDs also received the city's letter dated April 14, 2023, received on April 17, 2023, in which the city suggested that the co-MLDs appoint a tribal archeologist to develop a reburial plan for the review and comment by the three MLDs in the city. Number three, the quiche have proposed additional protocol and recovery procedures to be included as a part of the burial plan. The specifics were discussed verbally amongst the three co-MLDs at joint meetings. The quiche are prepared to submit its request to the city as well, but to date they have not because discussions with the co-MLDs are ongoing. The quiche's proposal, excuse me, the quiche's proposal in, implements important traditional treatments that are integral to the quiche's tribal cultural and ceremonial preferences and practices. If the other two co-MLDs do not wish to participate in this portion of the overall reburial plan, they may forego involvement. The quiche have no issue with Pachanga and Saboba foregoing participation in the quiche specific portion of the reburial plan. Number four, to date, all three co-MLDs agree on the following terms. The city proposed avoidance area is unreasonably small. It also lacks a buffer, does not provide for a solution for the soils pile, 
and does not take into account the possibility of multiple human remains as is required. By Public Resource Code 5097.98b, we reject this proposal and the persistent characterization that there is only one ancestor at issue. A site inspection with three COMLDs needs to occur now that the winter storms are over to assess the site conditions under the site protection as this could affect the reburial plan. We outline this in the attachment and will need the help of the city relative to safety and engineering concerns. It would be premature to present a plan to the city without the additional information and responses to questions in the attachment which are necessary to one, assess if reburial can proceed without knowing the future. Thank you. Commissioners, you have this in your packet. It's an email from Kara Grant. The email was revised yesterday afternoon uh, with their, their formal comments. So the, the original email that you see there, there's some changes to it. I forwarded that to you today. I have not compared the two comments, so I can't tell you what what's difference between <clears throat> the two. Okay. Okay, is there any other discussion on this item? Okay. Do one somebody okay, another speaker? Commission, are you okay with another speaker? I'll be brief. I'm Courtney Coyle again, uh, attorney for Pachanga. Um, I don't want to seem like I'm difficult to work with. I don't think that I am. Um, but just for clarity of the record, I just wanted to say that Pachanga was not asked, nor did it provide approval for the public comment from Ms. Grant um, referencing the three co-MLDs. Um, and that in the middle of that was sandwiched Keisha's demand regarding their burial protocol um, being made. I just wanted to be clear in case it wasn't that we didn't sign off on that. Um, we didn't know about it, but yes, there are some commonalities because I think part of that was cribbed off of the joint letter that Saboba and Pachanga had developed that I wrote thinking that all three co-MLDs would be able to sign off on one letter since there was a universe of things that after our lengthy conversations we did agree on, but then, um, you know, we received the communication from Ms. Grant saying that they didn't want to participate in our joint letter. So I just wanted to make it clear that we weren't aware of that communication. And certainly Akish can communicate on behalf of themselves, just not on behalf of Pachanga. Thank you. Okay, thank you for that clarification. Okay. Any other questions, comments? Okay. Okay, let's let's move on to the next item, but before that, can we take a little 10-minute break, please? Okay, thanks. 